let's perhaps start off with the what you said exactly. What was the context, and, and, and you know why did you choose the words that you used? Yes, what did I say? I will, I will answer a question. My, my, answer is, uh, my answer to your question is uh, threefold. One uh, is, uh, is, is my, my reference to your question is, uh, number one is the statement I made while addressing the Swapo rally at Okahanja on Saturday. And number two, to be also I make also reference to my statement that I issued out, subsequently issued out on Saturday, on Sunday, yesterday. Mm -hmm. And uh, thirdly, is on the reaction to that statement. Uh, first of all, I want to make it clear that uh, myself, having spent my time fighting for this country, I'm one of those who uphold our constitution and all the laws made there under, as well as the, our democracy and the way it operates and the rule of law. I, my statement, statement therefore that I made I think is taken out of context. And I've issued a statement to that effect, and I'm not going to dwell on that. So I seen that the statement I've made has uh, caused a lot of uh, uh, misunderstanding within the community, mm -hmm. as well as uh, uh, throughout the nation, as far as I can gather. Mm. Uh, during the elections, and I think that also goes for a lot of countries, uh, we somehow see to get the, the to see the worst side of ourselves during campaigns, for example. And when you say you were taken out of context, and I, and I quote here from your statement saying that uh, cutting an enemy's throat are proverbial expressions used in our, our African languages all the time. The same as saying as somebody is, is a zombie does not mean that they're physically dead and came back as uh, a living dead. I mean, how would you? misunderstand such a thing. I mean, almost in, maybe in, in other languages as well, not only in Africa, but uh, cutting off somebody's head and even making the gesture. Uh, one would look at it and say, but maybe I'm missing something here. Yeah, correct. Um, just like I said, uh, we, uh, that was not my intention. My intention, my intention is not to incite the violence is not to incite anybody to take law in, so in, in his or own hands. Uh, that's what I mean by my, my like I have I've said in my statement and you also referred to in your question. But um, all I want to do now is to, since this was blown out of context and uh, has been used for various reasons, which I understand, I understand the emotions of the people. Um, there are things that perhaps they did not expect from me, which I fully understand and appreciate. Equally, I'm saying that's not my intention, I want to repeat, it's not even my intention to, 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 to cause uh, uh, harm to anybody. I will never um, do such a thing. Um, People I've worked with who know me, for example, will tell you, no, that's not the, that's the, that's not the Martin Shelley I, uh, we know. Therefore, I take this opportunity uh, to, to tell my comrades, members of the Swap Party, as well as any other person whosoever might have been offended by the statement that, uh, that I have made. I essentially withdraw uh, that cutthroat thing uh, and uh, therefore I apologize to anybody who, to whom, who, whom I have offended. Mm -hmm. So comrades, friends, opposition parties, because this statement was made at a political rally. 
was meant to convey support for, for, for my party. At the same time also to, 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 to appeal to not only SWAPO members, to others as well to vote for SWAPO. And that is why I made that sitting. So uh, my apology to the comrades and to friends and uh, to all Namibians who are listening now. Mm. Uh, the AR was one of them that, uh, that actually demanded that you should apologize. So are you on record saying that you are sorry for the, the, the choice of words that you used at that rally? Yes, I am saying, um, uh, like I have said, I said, I'm, I'm, I'm saying sorry, but uh, I'm not referring to the, uh, the ARO's uh, 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 statement that was issued. I've seen it, they've not delivered it to me, and that just is not an issue. I'm ap apologizing to the Namibian nation and to everyone else whom I have, who has felt offended mm -hmm. by that statement. Charges have been laid uh, by the opposition PDM in particular. Uh, how do you see going? How do you see you know going forward? How are you going to handle this situation? And do you think that you are a very respected figure? There's no doubt about that. You know you have a, a, a outstanding record for the part that you have played in in the liberation of this country. But there are also people who feel that uh, somehow you and people of your generation somehow feel entitled that the fact that we fought for this country. Uh, means that we, you know, you are you, you are somehow you know special, more special than other people. Uh, going forward, do you think that it will take away from you know, your 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 reputation as you know a figure that has you know contributed so much to this country and seen in a very respected light? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. This is a statement, like I said, it was made in um, at, at a rally, it's a political statement, political campaign rally, and there's not none, there's nothing to do with my. My, myself, as, uh, as you have just described me. And all I wanted to say, what this statement I've just made now is actually directed to people who feel offended by, my, by, by the statement that I've made. I mean, as a, as a, as a Namibian citizen, as a, as a, I, when you do something that offends, people feel offended, I mean, we need to reconcile ourselves and just move on. So that's why I'm saying sorry. Mm. Uh, some may argue and say, you know, you, you said you said you did a political rally. Are we now saying that uh, at a political rally there are no there are no holds barred? You can say whatever it is that you want at that moment in time. Is it out of excitement or whatever it may be? But going forward, did we are going to the polls on the 24th of November. There's still going to be campaigns that are going to take place in in, in a different. Uh, um, in different uh, towns and you know constituencies to garner votes, do you think that some of the people, because the public is divided, there are people who feel that what you said was 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 correct, and you don't need to apologize. I mean, there are some people in social media who also saying no, but that was uncalled for. The spirit of campaigning, if you were to to say you you've apologized, of course, but. Going forward, there are those ones who still hold that what you said was absolutely correct and there's nothing wrong with that. What is your message to them? Uh, absolutely, because it's never been, it's not been my intention. Yeah, like I said before, so the focus must be on whether this was uh, intentional or not intentional or it was meant to be the way people are interpreting it. It's never so. So I have, it's not intended to incite violence or just like I've, I've explained earlier on, in, this was a, a, conflict, a configurative expression that I've made, but not meant that people should be killed. There's no point, I mean, there, there's no way that people can be killed in Namibia. Everybody knows that, and I cannot also say that people must be killed. Uh, lastly, I no, there's no reason to do that. Lastly, Namibia is, 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 is 30 years old. We're a 30 year old uh, democracy. And uh, over the years, we've seen individuals who decided to take another political route by leaving the party, being chastised, and uh, being uh, called all types of things uh, traitors of, of you know, the party and, and whatnot. One starts to feel that, well, if I'm in a country that's democratic and the constitution allows me to have the freedom of association, the freedom of movement, the freedom of choice, 
why should I still feel that because I chose my constitutional right to form my own party or leave this party and, and you know, because maybe there are certain things I do not ag agree with, um, does this mean that we've become enemies now if I leave Swapo? No, you're not an enemy. We are not enemies. Mm. No. Political openness in that case, yes, we are. Mm. Yeah. So we are not enemies.